Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada y schedule. Naše programy nabízejí více jazyků. Prosím navštivte suprememastertv.com lomitko schedule. After creating the astro, the, the heavy stuff settled down at the bottom and become the physical world, which is a fantastic world, I'm telling you. That's the only one that has physical body. Yeah. And then and then whatever left, whatever is heavier than the physical then is even sink lower to the bottom of the creation and we call hell. Yeah? Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxese, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, Danish, Dutch, English, Finnish, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Nepali, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Enichten dileklerimle tutkulu izleyiciler, ismim Güneş, misafirperver Türkiye'den, barış sever insanlarımız teşekkür eder sizin huzurunuz bizimle olduğu için. Türkiye kıtalar arası bir ülke Güneybatı, Asya ve Güneydoğu, Avrupa, Akdeniz ve Karadeniz arasında Türk boğazları, geleneksel olarak kabul edilir. Sınırları arasında Avrupa ve Asya kıtaları ve doğal su yolları Karadeniz, Akdeniz ve Ege Denizi ile bağlıdır. Doğrudan taşıma yolları sağlanması Avrasya'nın kalbine. Konumu onu bir merkez yapar uluslararası ticaret ve ulaşım için. Benzersiz coğrafi konumu ile ülke çok çeşitli miras ve bol arkeolojik miras. Ev sahibi sayesiz UNESCO Dünya Miras Bölgesi süslü bir şekilde dekor edilmiş Ulu Cami Divri, Darı Şifası, Asırlık ve Olağanüstü Manastır ve Mağara Kiseleri Göreme Ulusal Parkı'nda. Büyüleyici ve mistik dev heykelleri Nemrut Dağı'ndaki yani Sıra Antik ve Efsane bir Truva şehri ve en önemlisi de Hierapolis Pamukkale ile tanınan maden bakımında zengin termal suların terasları Havzaları ve antik termal hamamları ve tapınakları. Eski İstanbul şehri büyülü bir yer doğunun batı ile buluştuğu dünyaca ünlü büyüleyici tarihe ile görekemli mimarisi ile etkileyici müze ve galeri dizisi ile. Ziyaretçilerine benzersiz ve oğlanüstü kültür arası deneyim sunuyor. Orta ve ülke geleninde cömert ve heyecanlı kucaklayıcı Türk insanlarıyla tanışıyoruz. Yaşam sevgilerini ve bol misafirperverliklerini paylaşan. Ayrıcalıkla hissediyoruz, kısaca tanıtmak için büyüleyici Türkiye'yi size, güzel izleyiciler. Doldurmak için Allah'a dua ediyoruz günleriniz sevgi ve neşeyle. Otuz yılı aşkın bir süredir. Yüce Üstad Şinghai dünyamızı aydınlattı, ilahi öğretileri ile tamamen aydınlanmıştır bir Üstad. 
uygular kuanin meditasyon yönetimini derhal keşfetmeyi içinde Tanrı'nın doğasını ve başarmayı isteyenler için yaşam boyu süren ebedi bir kurtuluşa, ruhun göç döngüsünden. Kuanin metodu uygulanmıştır. Tüm aydınlanmış ustatlar tarafından ibadet eden, dünya onuruna sahip bir Shakyamuni Buda ibadet eden Tanrı'nın oğlu Hazreti İsa, saygıdeğer ustad ve filosof Confucius, saygıdeğer Lord Krishna, saygıdeğer ustad ve filosof Lao Tzu, saygıdeğer Lord Mahavira, sevgili Hazreti Muhammed, barış onunla olsun. İlk Siguru, Sri Guru Nanak, Devci ve daha fazlası. O vurgulamaktadır. Tanrı'yı her zaman hatırlasak, bencillikten uzak hizmet verdiğimiz başkalarına ve uyarsak evrenin yasalarına, yüksek potansiyele ulaşacağız. İnsan olarak ve gerçekten anlayacağız dünyadaki amacımızı. Yüce Usta Çinhay, olağanüstü bir yaşayan şefkat örneği, düzenli olarak manevi ve maddi yardım gönderen, sevginin yanı sıra mültecilere, evsizlere, doğal afet mağdurlarına ve diğer yardıma ihtiyacı olanlara. Yüce Usta Çinhay, derinden minnattar sevgili Tanrı'ya, tüm maddi yardım, rahatlık ve destek engelli ve muhtaç ve veya iyi sebepler yıllar boyunca Alçak gönüllü bir gemi olarak varisleri için erkek ve kadın, varisler için yansız terim, şefkat ve sevgiye karşı değerleri varis çocukları. Yüce Usta Çinghay, saygıyla teşekkür ederim tüm özel bireylere, kuruluşlara, liderlere ve hükümetlere, tüm gerçek sevgi dolu ve devam eden desteğiniz için cennet sonsuza dek sizi korusun. Biz Yüce Usta Çinghay Uluslararası Birliği üyeleri aynı zamanda içtenlikle minnettarız ifade ettiğiniz nezaket için en iyi dileklerimizle. Yüce Usta Çinghay sevgi ve tanımı desteği ve sevgisi alır çeşitli kuruluşlardan, medyadan, hükümetlerden ve bireylerden birçok ödül gibi Onlardan örneği 2006 Güşi Barış Ödülü gibi Düşünülür Nobel Barış Ödüşü Doğu'nun Dünya Manevi Liderlik Ödülü 1994 yılında Mahavir Ödülü 2008 yılında 22 Şubat ve 25 Ekim olarak beyan edilen Yüksek Usta Çinghai Günü Onursal Vatandaşı Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nin ve onurlandırıldığı yıllar boyunca sayısız diğer ödüller ve övgüler onun için Olağanüstü, yardımsever ve insani işler.
özür dileriz. Göstermediğimiz için diğer birçok ödülleri ve onurları yer ve zaman eksikliği için. Yüce Usta Çinghay, saygıyla teşekkür ederim tüm özel bireylere, kuruluşlara, liderlere ve hükümetlere tüm gerçek sevgi dolu ve devam eden desteğiniz için. Cennet sonsuza dek sizi korusun. Biz Yüce Usta Çinghay Uluslararası Birliği üyeleri aynı zamanda içtenlikle minnettarız ifade ettiğiniz nezaket için en iyi dileklerimizle. Gerçek bir ses güzel hayvansever dostlarımız için Yüce Master Şinghai huzurlu olanı teşvik ediyor ve bitki bazlı beslenmeyi seven ve öngörülerle insanlığın uyanışı tüm yaşamın kutsallığına, sakin ve görekemli tamamen vegan dünya insanların ve hayvanların keyifli bir uyum içinde yaşadığı, onun yayılma girişimleri, vegan eğilimi farklı ve dahil edildi. Alternative Yaşam Brochure, dağılımı, uluslararası vegan restoranları, Loving Heart, Sevimli Kulübe, vegan gıda ürünleri, şirketleri, vegan kürk ürünleri, Yüce Usta Televizyonu, aynı şekilde düzenli konuşma etkili hükümet ve medya liderlerin ve katılımcılarla televizyonda yapılan konferanslarda iklim değişikliği ve B. Farkında olup olmadığımız onun çabalarını muazzam bir etkisi oldu küresel farkındalık. Hakkında hayvan dostu yaşam tarzı ve bu hayvan sever yol nasıl kalıcı barış getirebilir milletler arasında gezegenimize iklim değişikliğinden ve felaketlerden kurtarırken. Yıllar boyunca Yüce Usta Şinghai tüm dünyayı gezdi Amerika'dan Afrika'ya, Avrupa'dan Okyanusya'ya, ve yüzlerce halka ve öğrencileriyle söylemler yaptı, çeşitli dinsel konular üzerine. Bugün mutluluk duyuyoruz birini sunmaktan içgörülü dersler başlıklı. Beş dünyanın durumu dört bölümünden biri üstad ve müritler arasında İngilizce verilen 28 Şubat 2005 tarihinde Macaristan'da. Now we go back to the Buddha business. <laughs> I am sorry I'm late today. I was going to see you, but then I have so much telephone call from here and to here, you know, because um, this is the earth, huh? <laughs> and I look like one of the earthling, huh? So I have to do a lot of work concerning the earthling people, and just like any earthling people, so that I can be free to be with you. I also need a passport, I also need a driver license, I also need to pay the bills, I also need all this and that and others, and the house and the tax and whatever in different countries and other centers, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah. blah. Huh? All these are Vietnamese? Yes. Wow, look at they give you the privilege, it's right in the front. <laughs> they still think I'm Vietnamese, that's for sure. Huh? I told you how many times and how many days just recently, they still think I'm Vietnamese. <laughs> Fine, whatever. The whole world already thinks that I'm human, so I have to do a lot of human stuff. Bureaucracy, paperwork, pay the bills, blah, blah, blah, blah, at the car, and registration, inspection, blah, blah, blah, blah. And you also think I am human. And they think I'm Vietnamese. It gets smaller all the time. <laughs> okay, some of you was wondering. Did I write it here? Did I? Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> the whole history of the five worlds. Anyway, this is how it happened, okay? This is how it happened that the, the devil from hell can come up and seduce you, <coughs> nah? or even some of the border astral, so that they fall into temptation 
do bad things and become hell person. You know, become torture in hell. You don't have to be torture in hell. If you fall in there, you are torture enough already. Just like if you fall into this world, you <laughs> suffer. Just automatic. Yeah? It's, it's nobody need to come and stop you or any anything here is a trouble. Yeah? Even you just want to come here to see me. You do nothing wrong. You just want to come here to elevate yourself and thereby elevate the planet. You have to do so much work in order to come. Yeah? Yeah. To work all night all year maybe to save money so that you can come here. And then even then maybe you have to go to parents. Approval, husband, stamps, uh, wife permission, and girlfriend <laughs> tantrum <laughs> in order to get here, eh? And the passport, and the ticket. You wait in queue for one hour or sometime uh, more just to get a ticket, and then wait again in queue just to get on the airplane, wait again in queue to get down, <laughs> and wait again in queue to get a taxi, and walk all the mud to come here. Yeah, you know? Everything is a pain because you are in this world, no matter where you're from. Yeah? The fifth, the fourth, the third, don't care. They treat you all the same here. Yeah? All like trouble, trouble, trouble. Likewise, if you uh, fall into hell, it doesn't need any devil come and stop you or grilling you like the way they say it, or put you in a cauldron of oil. Boiling oil, no, no, necessary. Over there, everywhere is like that. It's just a figure of speech. If you live there as if somebody boy you all day long, as if somebody stabbing you all night or oh, non-stop, as if somebody keep burning you, it's worse than that. So in the physical language, we use a fire, hell fire, hell oil, or whatever, uh, uh, you know, the uh, torture method that they use down there. Just like this world is suffering. Sometimes nobody is stabbing your heart, but you broke up with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, and you say, oh, my heart is broken. It's a figure of speech, but it's worse than that. You feel worse. You feel like in hell. You feel trouble. You feel pain. You feel terrible. So all you can say is, my heart's broken. Yeah? It's not like somebody take your heart and broke it into pieces, but it's worse than that. So, in a way, it's like that in hell. If, if you are seduced to go to hell, then you feel terrible every day as if somebody burn you, as if somebody stab you, chop you into pieces and come back again and chop again. It's like that. Almost 24 hours. It depends on what kind of hell you are in. And you, come here. So it has more, come, come. Come, nearby, nearby, nearby. So you can hear more carefully. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Whoever need to come near, just go near. Whoever need to come here, just come here. Sit on my feet, on my lap, whatever. <laughs> if you need to sit here, just go nearby. Come on, baby. Come, come, baby. Don't worry. Sit nearby. You don't have a chance every day. Whoever love to be near, just stick here, around blue and whatever. Yeah, and everybody else has room to expand, just like God, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you, live like, you feel like expanding, no? Because this uh, is going to be a long lecture, so you be comfy, all right? <laughs> maybe long, maybe not, but it's about hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we begin from hell, but we go to the fifth level. Don't worry, I don't leave anything out of it. But I don't know where is the longest, maybe hell, or maybe the, maybe astral, it depends on inspiration. Have you comfy now? Get ready? Where were we? Oh, the hell person. Yeah. You were asking me before, why cannot we make the hell, you know, Maya become more a goody person and blah, blah. No, they're, they're just like that. Nah? Go is go, Peppo is Peppo. Okay? Yeah. Now I have to tell you how they get up there. The physical world is the leftover from the astral creation. Nah? After creating the astral, the, the heavy stuff settles down at the bottom and becomes the physical world, which is a fantastic world, I'm telling you. That's the only one that has physical body. Yeah. And, then, and then whatever left, whatever is heavier than the physical, then 
is even sink lower to the bottom of the creation and we call hell. Yeah? There is no such a level like that. It's infinite. But still, each level is like that. Okay? Fine. So whatever <coughs> in the same level is hell. Whatever the same level is physical, whatever the same level of uh, f uh, finesse is astral, etc., etc. And the finer, the higher. Eh? Yeah. Right. So we go from the bottom anyway. Okay. So everywhere, if you fall into hell, everywhere is suffering. In this world, we have suffering already. But sometimes we experience a break. We have happiness, we fall in love, we have parents, we have kids, and we have <coughs> happiness from them, and we have pets, and moments of happiness does exist. Yeah? In hell, no. <laughs> All right. So in hell, no happiness ever. Maybe a break for two seconds, two minutes, but not like here. Sometimes we have happiness in this world. It lasts for hours or days or sometimes months. The honeymoon lasts uh, one week, two weeks, you know? <laughs> yeah, but in hell, no. It never lasts that long. And some hell don't ever have any happiness at all. So we call that eternal hell. That's reserved for people who like kill Jesus, uh, stab Buddha, things like that. But even then, because the Buddha is all ever merciful, so even they have affinity with them, they see them, they still scoop them out of hell after some time. Just like in Europe, sometimes they say life sentence, yeah? But they do have pardon. Yeah? And then he come out in a shorter period than, than he's supposed to. So the only reason we fall into hell is not because we're really that bad, but because we fall into temptation. Yeah? The earth people, or the astral aboard of earth fall into temptation of the devil from hell. I told you already, they want to expand, you know? They have plenty of tiny vincic, little, <laughs> I don't know, point, point of the creative power in them. Even more, worse than this, smaller than that, but also a creative power. So they want to expand, remember? And hell is the limit. <laughs> Just like the sky is the limit, hell is the limit. They can't expand anymore. Nothing sink any further than that. So they just have to go up where the border is and scratching, you know, getting people. Nah? Oh. And any hell being, of course, some are stronger, some are less powerful. Just like on earth, we have some more powerful or some stronger muscle or some stronger mind and some stronger position. Some have more power, some have more money than others. Same in hell, same. They, because they don't have the body like us. Earth is the only planet that has beings with physical body, be it animals or be it men, or be it beasts or be it the flying birds. They all have physical bodies you can touch. You see? They really materialize and they last long, long time. Like, depends, eh? Like human, they last almost 100 years, dog, maybe 10 years, 20 years, chicken, 2 years, etc., etc., but they do last. And they do have real physical body, yeah? From the karma and from the structure of the creation, eh? By the structure of creation, we are long-lasting uh, creature with body, with physical appearance. But the, the hell don't have. Hell, hell people don't have, the astral don't have, second don't have, third don't have, fourth don't have, fifth, fifth don't have, and sixth don't have, don't have, nobody. Only the earth planet have it. So in a way, it's very special, very interesting. Therefore, many beings from higher planets come visit us sometimes, yeah, just to look at. <laughs> just like you go to France, or, or even you are in a free country, European Union, but sometimes you might like to go to poorer country, or. A uh, different, more restrict regime, just to look at, yeah? Not because they are better than you, maybe they are worse, or maybe better, but you like to go look at, okay? Fine. So the high be higher beings also sometimes come down here and have a look at us, but you never know who they are. I'm telling you soon, yeah. Now we're still in hell, yeah, we don't go to... <laughs> so the hell beings, they also have power, as they are also from God, even though the worst part of God, they have power so they can manifest themselves into a human body. Depends on how powerful they are, yeah? So you hear sometimes of the stories that the, you see the ghost, you know, appear somewhere for two minutes, half an hour, depends on how powerful they are. 
the most powerful hell beings, or even ghosts, they go to hell anyway. Their world is hell. If not, they would have gone to heaven or astral already. Now, the most powerful hell beings could manifest themselves into a human body like us. You know, they can make even more beautiful, extremely beautiful. And if they are more powerful, they can stay for two days. Let's see if that is uh, correct. <laughs> because so many things come in, I have to just shorthand quick. Where are hell? Where is the hell? <laughs> ah, there you are. <laughs> the information don't come into you just like a television. It's so fast. And if I don't write it down, my brain will forget. I have other things to do later immediately. I cannot remember hell stuff. Okay. The most powerful hell person can stay on the planet Earth mingle around us for four hours. That's all they are permitted. Just like some country, we can go only for two days or one month or one week. We cannot go any further. If we want, we have to go back, get, get visa, come back. Like Taiwanese people, if they want to come here, they're not free like you. Taiwanese, eh? Like they are permitted to come and stay three months. And then if they want some more, they have to go through bureaucracy a lot and maybe extend six months if somebody guarantee them and have money and all that uh, with a lawyer. Ne? But uh, more trouble. If not, they go home again, get another stamp, come back another month. Understand now? Okay. So health persons are permitted on earth four hours at a time without body. And if he wants to manifest in the body, two hours. Okay? Of course, the hell person can be punished as well. Normally, they roam around free in hell, around everywhere. But if they are uh, doing something bad, of course, they be like uh, locked into some worse area and never can come out, <laughs> like the genie in the lamp. <laughs> but he probably a good guy, but he just probably be naughty for a while. Okay, so hell being allowed visa for four hours, four earth hours, and then they have to go. And then if they manifest here, the powerful person want to manifest into the body like us, then he can only manifest for two hours, and then his power diminished, then he has to go anyway. So some are naughty, some they get hold of other person's body, so we call them they are possessed. Some rebel, some don't want to go back there. All right, so in two hours, a hell person can manifest like you and I, and then if you don't know he's a hell person, he will tell you things. He will talk to you, he invite you coffee, he give you wine, he give you drug, whatever you like, a woman, whatever. In that two hours, then you fall. And he come back again another two hours, extending his power over you, and then soon you become his disciple, and then you do any bad things that you cannot imagine. First a small thing, and then bigger thing, and then slowly become a habit. You become murderer, gangster, whatever, that you could not imagine. Because you can manifest for two hours. Two hours is a lot of time to do anything. Suppose he give you drug, and then you become addicted. Nah? He come back again, give you alcohol, slowly you addicted. And some use another earthling body, like somebody is weak or something, and not protected by master power because not doing meditation. Or sometimes they do meditation, but in a wrong way, without teacher, without guidance, or without proper guidance. Their soul come out of the body. At that moment, the devil come in and took possession of the body. So he doesn't have to make a body himself, and he can stay longer. Yeah? Excuses, you know? Right. And then he can, you know, like make havoc upon earth or whoever he encounters. Yeah? That's how we fall. That's how earthling people fall. Yeah? Or any, even animals are possessed sometimes by so called demon and they do things in a bad way. And they bark or they bite when they normally don't. Yeah? Or they, they kill. Normally they don't do that. But when they're possessed, they do it. I say two hours, it just depends on power. Some hell being cannot stay two hours or four hours, they can stay less, yeah? Depends. And uh, sometimes they cannot manifest into the whole body, they can manifest only partially, yeah? Because their power is not strong enough. Uh, I guess sometimes maybe you heard about 
the newspaper or television reporting that people see some of the boots walking without body, yeah, or see in such a head flowing around, or see in the body without head. It's not because he don't have head, it's just he cannot manifest the head. <laughs> he has the power to manifest only up to here, or he has the power to manifest up to his knee only. So you only see the feet walking, but sometimes he has the power to manifest the hand, so you only see the hand moving, you don't see anything else. Yeah? Sometimes he manifests from here to here, so you think he's floating on air. It's all true. It's all true because the, these are less powerful, hell beings, so they cannot manifest the whole body and they cannot stay long. And then slowly, it fades quick. Yeah? Right. That's it. Anything else you want to know from hell before I move up? <laughs> Enough? Yes? In Chinese uh, calen calendar, that uh, in the July, that mm -hmm. is the hell's month. I don't know if it's uh, true. Possible, possible. Possible, they, they have a vacation. That they go <laughs> <laughs> yeah, July, why not? Why not? In Europe, we have August. In Europe, August is a holiday month. <laughs> Nobody stays in Paris, all empty, you know? Possible that they choose July because they can go to Paris. <laughs> Uh, before it's all empty, yeah? Possible, you know, why not, eh? The whole planet hell have only one month holiday, is fair enough. You know? <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, in Europe they believe it's October. So maybe Chinese uh, hell open in July. And, <laughs> and uh, uh, European hell open uh, October, eh? Yeah, okay. Right. Any more questions before we move up? He attempted to do something bad that normally wouldn't do. Is that influence from hell being, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's influence from hell being. And also from your past karma. Because past karma you have already been tempted by hell. Yeah. So you've done something bad also. Maybe it's maybe not the first time. Sure. See? So because of that, that you are in inclined to do the same stuff again. Yeah. Yeah. And apart from that, the hell have connection because you have bad karma, a bad deed. So the same frequency, he can use that to contact you, and it double your chance of falling into temptation. Yeah. That's why once you sin, it's difficult to get up. You ask the people who play cards or drink drink alcohol, so difficult for them to stop it because the hell being use their body also drinking for them, enjoying it and make them drink more and more, and they have a connection already. They keep coming to near the body and make the body drink more. Yeah. And in the stupor, you know, in drunkenness, it's easy to force their soul, the owner, soul out of their, his body and then take over. And when he wake up, he come back to his body, but the astral or the hell already been drinking the whole lot or gamble his whole fortune on the table already. Very difficult. So it's better to keep five percent go straight. Yeah, that's the problem. The more you sing, the the more you want to sing. Yeah. Sever izleyiciler, bize katıldığınız için teşekkürler. Bugünün programı için Beş Dünyanın durumu dört bölümünden birini, Ustad ve Mürikler arasında. Sırada bir deneyim kozmik bilinçten, seçmeler bir yoganın otobiyografisinden, Paramahansa Yogananda tarafından iki bölümden ikincisi. Bilgelik sözlere üzerine dikkat değer haberlerden hemen sonra, Lütfen bizi izlemeye devam edin. Yüce Start Televizyonu daha pozitif programlama için. Cennetin ihtişamı ve güzellikleri günlerinizi kutlasın. Optimistic viewers, thank you for joining us for today's program entitled State of the Five Worlds, Part 1 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is an experience in cosmic consciousness. Selections from Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. 
Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May the glory and beauties of heaven grace your days. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.